for JC Piola and Janela. Kasi, uh, this is the first time that I learned that a movie will be holding a fanboy. So, um, how does it feel as an actor? What does it mean to you that your movie is holding a fan con? It's happening downstairs. Uh, let's start with uh, Ms. Janela Salvador. Um, well, what we're going to be doing later is we're going to be performing then and having a Q&A now with the fans, which the Q&A part, I think that's a first for me. We don't usually do that. So, uh, I think it's a great opportunity to be able to um, to be able to talk to our supporters, our audiences, and excited ako para mamaya kasi nga matagal-tagal ko na rin tong hindi nagawa mag mall show ever since nagka pandemic nagka anak ako. Um, <laughs> Ayun, so, and I, it just shows that uh, this production is really big. They've been giving everything they can. And so I'm really just grateful to be a part of it. Thank you. How about JC? <laughs> I, I've never been to a fan con before, so I'm, I'm taking it as a celebration uh, for me to, <laughs> to celebrate my, my, my team here with our Ben Tork. I, I, I want to tell people the standard that they give, gave us as artists nung time na nag-shoot kami, they gave us everything. They, they make us feel so comfortable. It's, it's not just me, even all the staff, all comfortable. And I think sila yung nag-set ng standard. Na lahat, sinasabi ko to sa lahat ng mga co-actors na nakatrabaho ko that, you know, mentor. It, I found home with them. Kasi nga, I was, I was treated so well and, and I know that they're gonna be doing a lot of amazing, great materials, incredible materials in the future with that leader here. So, I, for me, this is gonna be celebrating with them. Na we, we have this movie for Metro Manila Film Festival. Lagi po, eh, nasa swerte po ako na lagi akong meron ganitong Met, Metro Manila Film Festival. Nasa swerte ako with uh, Meto Bit Before, Miracle and Cell Number no. 7, and uh, Family Matters last year. And now with this one, so, <laughs> I'm speechless, I'm kilik. But uh, yeah, so uh, whatever is gonna happen later, I, I take it as a celebration. Baka maglabas ako ng alak to cheers with them. <laughs> Thank you, JC. How about Mr. Pascual? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I guess uh, it's a uh, fan con is a way to connect uh, the audience, you know, not just to promote the film, but to also interact with them. So it's a good way to not just promote, but to also have them listen to them, you know, have them around you so that they would know more about, you know, what you are trying to sell them. But also, you know, a way of thanksgiving as well. Because uh, sila naman yung kailangan mo, you know, to make business. But at the same time, it's also good because you give them that importance, di, di ba? Uso siya ngayon eh. And people want to be able to interact, not just through, you know, camera, but also in person. So it's a good way to promote the film. Thank you very much. Congratulations in advance to the Magyari family. Okay, thank you, Arvin and Benny. Um, I don't happen to see her around. G. Crilliana, are you here? Are you sorry, ma'am? I love you. <laughs> sorry po, maliit ang mata. <laughs> Next up, we have G. Crilliana, editor of Malaya, followed by Don Don Sermino of Abante. Hello, good afternoon, po. My question is for Director um, ang ganda po nang sinabi ni Sir Enrico about it being a culture that it, it presents so many um, layers, di ba? But, um, but of course, Malyari also deals with death and crime. So how did you make this palatable? Or how do you make this palatable to ano, FF viewers? Mm, parang how do you plan to convince them to watch this during a season of merrymaking? Uh, malaking factor yung emotion. Malaking factor yung... I think it's one of the reasons kung bakit siya nasa trailer. Uh, di ba sa'ng pa ang magmahal? Kung bakit niya sinabi yun? Uh, Doon namin... Yun yung in-inject namin na isa sa mga bago doon sa... Usually, kasi di ba kapag horror, expected mo na matatakot ka, expected mo na merong... Kung baga meron talagang story na susundan. Um, pinasok namin yun kasi para... Uh, at the same time, meron susundan naman talagang kwento na hindi lang siya nakakatakot. 
And then, at the same time, kaya namin sinasabi na mahirap yung script kasi yung pag may marrying ng social commentary, ng material, na hindi ka lang matatakot, meron ka makukulog paglabas mo. And then at the same time, that you know na this is something that could happen to you in all levels, in different levels nga lang. And then at the same time, na mag-enjoy ka kasi it's a horror movie. May kasama pa rin nung pananakot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you um, For Janela, hi. You made a splash as Valentina. What was it in Malieri that convinced you to accept this project? Um, to be honest with you, before I accepted this film, sabi ko sa sarili ko, parang gusto ko muna magpahinga sa horror. Kasi medyo, medyo nata typecaster na ako sa mga horror. My first film was Haunted Mansion, it was horror. Um, I did Bloody Crayons, it's also a slasher film. Uh, Killer Bride, parang naging tuloy-tuloy yung horror, hindi siya nawala. And I said, gusto ko muna magpahinga. But as soon as I read the script, Sabi ko, this is something na hindi ko pwedeng palagpasin. It's so well written. It's very detailed. Kahit hindi mo siya, tama yung sabi ni Ms. Gloria, hindi mo siya may intindihan fully if you just read it. But it's so detailed and beautifully written. And even up to the smallest characters, our characters, everything's well written. So, pero na, kinabahan ako ng slight. Um, dahil hindi ko lang... Parang kinabahan ako kasi hindi ko lang makakatrabaho dito si Papa B. Partner ko siya dito. <laughs> so kinabahan ako pero I couldn't let it pass. So yeah. I'm, uh, we're sure you'll bring a different flavor naman to compare to your other... Ano, Definitely, yes. ...to your other uh, iterations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next we have Don Don Cervino of Abante. Ayan. Hi, Janela. Follow up ko na rin yung question ni Chi. Kinabahan ka kay Piolo because... Because he's Piolo. <laughs> it's just that um, he's accomplished so much and. Hey, pati review na naman kay Piolo. Yeah. Hindi pero nung nasa set na kami. Hindi ako si Piolo. Never niya pa naramdam. Never ko naramdam niyon na Piolo siya. Um, he's actually like I said, he's very generous. He's I could see him also really working hard for this role. Um, Lahat kami dito parang we're all really just trying to portray our roles na patay patay kami and yeah he worked very hard for this then. Yes, na pansin this is the year of Piolo Pasquale. Yes. Masulat si Rod parang walang tigil. Nag concert pa yan na dito sa Pilipinas at sa abroad di ba? At nag host pa ng the end. Kaya paano pa? Janela, ano pa rin? Um, ikaw ba? Matatakot din ka ba in real life? At sabi kasi na pag horror movie ang ginagawa, usually may na-encounter na mga scary or horror stories talaga sa set. The last time na-interview namin si Piolo, meron siyang mga konting kwento, although parang hindi naman siya yung personal na naka-experience. Parang sa set, ikaw ba meron ganun? Naka-experience ka ba ng, ng nakakatakot sa set mismo? Uh, dito sa set na to, wala. Ah, okay. Pero nung Oh My G, uh, hindi ko lang kung nakwento ko na to dati. Kwento ko ba ulit? Sige, okay lang. Nung Oh My G, since... I-connect na lang natin dito sa Maria. Dahil horror. <laughs> um, yeah, nung Oh My G, I was just 17 at the time. And it was a show about God, if you didn't know. So, uh, syempre, it's very spiritual. Everything was revolving around that. Um, tapos I would visit the church, yung mga Carmelite sisters, ganyan. So pumunta ako sa church, nilapitan ako ng isang madre, tapos sabi niya, lagi ako nanonood ng Oh My G, um, kailangan mo magpray, kasi lagi daw may nakahawak na black na kamay sa shoulders ko, Just sa dalawang eksena, may nakikita daw siya. So, yeah, after that, they prayed over me, medyo may exorcism na slight na naganap. So, as a teenager, pinagdaanan ko yun. Ayun, yun na yung... So, yun yung kamay na nasa shoulder mo. Yeah, natanggal naman siya. Ah, okay, hopefully. natanggal na. Thank you very much and good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Don Don. Baka yung kamay lang yun sa ano, Adam's mommy. Joke. <laughs> Next, we have Morley Alinio. Saan kaya manggagaling ang question ni Morley ngayon? Sa ang parte ng katawan mo, Morley Alinio mo, bukas yes, siya. Yes, magandang magandang ha. Uh, Pon, ayan, tanong ko muna direct, 
Curious ako. Bakit hindi nasa poster lahat na hanganga? Ayun. Kailangan yung panoorin. Pero actually, sigaw yan, di ba? Oh, sigaw yan. Required ba talaga yung nakanganga? Oh, scream yan eh. Okay. My question is this. Galing sa puso ko. Piolo, ano ang greatest fear mo sa buhay mo? Ano ang pinakatatakutan mo mangyari sa iyo? Mamatay. Bakit? Siyempre, sayang yung buhay. So, you wanna live it well. And I don't wanna run out of time. So, you know, I'm just really maximizing my time here on Earth. Kasi pag nawala ka na, sayang, tapos na yung buhay mo. So, that's my biggest fear. Pag nawala ka na, tapos ang buhay mo, yes. paano mo pinaghahandaan ang pag-alis mo? Uh, <laughs> sa dami ng ginagawa ko. Bala na ang Diyos sa akin. <laughs> Tama naman. Kaya Jinela. Jinela, question. Ayan. Nakabahan na po. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nakabahan na po. Question ko ay, dumating na ba sa buhay mo ang kinatatakutan mo? <laughs> wow. Nung pinanganak pa lang po ako, andun na po siya yung nanay ko po. <laughs> Bakit? <laughs> Self-explanatory na po. Hindi <laughs> ko na kailangan i-explain ba't ako natatakot sa kanya. <laughs> Kay Ma'am Gloria, bilang isang napakahusay na artista, bilang isang natatanging ganda, Ma'am Gloria, sa dekada na pinagdaanan po natin kayo, ano po yung isang bagay na kinatakutan ninyo na nagkatibay sa inyong pagkatao? <laughs> Well, I, I cannot think of anything because I'm still scared of many things. I mean, I was scared when I joined uh, Direct. And it took me, uh, I think on the third shooting day, parang lumakas na love ko. I'm still, every, every time I shoot, talagang kinakabahan ako the first few days. Kasi baka hindi ko kaya ito. I'm always thinking, ano kaya? Matras na lang ako. I'm really like that. From the first time I've ever done a movie, except my first movie, parang wala lang picnic. Pero afterwards, I realized what it is. So every time I do a movie, I don't think any past experience can help me because I'm always kabado. That's why, dami kong kasama. Marami akong kasama. Oh, how was it? Okay yun, okay yun. O, di, ganun pa rin. I'm still scared. I don't think I've experienced anything na, na okay na, kaya ko na ito. I'm like that. Last question kay Derek. Derek, question ko. Kung baga sa laban, ang laban na ito ay nasa arena kayo. Sampung maglalaban sa isang sa isang ano, competition, sampung pelikula ang kailangan panoorin ng mga tao. Question. Ang daming question, ha? Naku, ha? Naku, tayo yan. Dalawa na aaway sa akin dito, ha? Ako na lang last ako. Habis sige na nga, huwag na nga. Question dere. Sa sampung pelikula na itatanghal sa darating na Metro Manila Film Festival, Question ko, bakit kailangan unahin namin panoorin ang malyari kumpara sa siyam na pelikulang nakahain sa Metro Manila Film Festival? O oh, ayan, alas na yun. Oh. <laughs> Malaking factor yung ano, uh, never in the history ng film, for me ah, I mean sa akin lang to, opinion ko lang po ito, wala pa kung na, wala pa akong alam na pelikula na natin na nagawa ng ganito. Na tatlo ang timeline. Na tinahihin to one. It's a horror movie. It's a social commentary. And then, it's... The overall theme is love. Wala pa. I don't know. I, uh, siguro, kayo? Na, wala pa. Siguro yun yung isa sa mga laban ng mayari. I mean... It's everything that we were looking for. Kaya nga siguro yun yung ano namin eh, na parang 
um, eto yung pelikula na kapag pinanood mo, lahat ng senses mo, gagana. Kasi sin sinigurado namin yun doon sa pelikula. I mean, it's one also the reason kung bakit ganun katagal yung material bago namin na ilabas. We could easily do a material na sobrang dali, may ganito, pero we want to offer something new. Na kapag nilabas nyo na kahit ano mangyari, mataalala nyo, aya, mayari. <coughs> Ayan, tapos tayo dito. So yun, so definitely, we have to support all the films. And I think nasabi ni Direk kung anong rason kung bakit nyo kami uunahin. But this is a celebration yes, it's a of, our, uh, of, our, uh, of our culture. Kaya talagang uh, tangkilikin natin ang pelikulang pili 